Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 55 here. As promised, hopping on the shoreline, gonna finish up Punisher Part 2 and maybe get these markers down. See y'all in Raid. Alright, sorry that the music was playing during the intro. Pretzel's being really weird today, but the music during the intro is my fault, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay. Alright. So I need kills. I need to do this. Let's just go for caches real quick, though. Did I? I could not see this bush. I don't know why I couldn't see this bush, but that's where it was. I guess it's because it was too dark. That was weird. It's like, am I on the wrong hill? I was not. Well, not an F25, but like, I, I, it might be through F20. I don't know. It's there's there's F13 plus. I use like F. I use 13 through like 18 or something like that. But you have to you have to be able to like type it in to set it to your foot pedals first, and then use your foot pedal to set it in the game. Um, most games don't let you like search for the extra F keys. But yeah, that's usually what I do for games. Or for foot pedals at the at the least. What was that weird? That was a weird sound. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Stream Deck does that pretty well. Yeah, I mean, most mouse programs as well, like Logitech in particular, I do that. Like I said, all the exterior buttons to the F, the extra F keys instead of mouse keys. Although mouse four is recognized by m most programs these days, or most like games these days. But. But that is a handy, handy way to do it for sure. Ah, uh, Lincoln. Remember, we are in single fire. Gotta keep remembering that. Sometimes this cab will spawn here. You've been hanging around long enough. Okay, we'll go back to full auto. Cover coming over the hill. Win or lose this raid, we are going to do a daytime raid after this. I just... You can get so much done at nighttime sometimes. But sometimes, you know, like last time, uh, I couldn't see that player, so I had a much worse shot against them, right? So... But I think it's just your interactions are more difficult, but you have less interactions, if that makes sense. Depends, though. I truly believe if we had if we had a um like a corund on there we actually would have been I think good to go because they were going for my leg slash stomach and they got me because of the stomach and I think I would have been like messed up I mean not that say I would have also had to like get them but yeah without my stomach exposed I think I would have had a lot better shot because they're using rip rounds. 
Yeah, there was a lot of shots. I, I mean, to be fair, though, I actually prefer it that way because then I can, like, make a plan. You know? By the way, when I do this task, when I do Punisher on a standard account, I always use an ADAR or a TX-15. I love using semi-automatics. One of my favorites. Um, this will actually be a good reply. It doesn't cover the years, but... Help me from getting shot in the back of the head, which is good. MDR slash M1A. MAD was your go-to last swipe. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Fascinating. Yes, it's not terrible. A lot of the caches do appear to be up, which is good. Nah, tier four is garbage. It doesn't uh, it doesn't repair well. And the jump from tier three to tier four is is pretty good, but like tier five is where I'll, I'll consider a ceramic over over a tier three. My um, they also weigh a lot. The ceramics weigh a lot. I um. I tend to only want the, like, in particular right now, I'm only really caring about the armor for scavs, so. Higher durability plus easier to repair is, is ultimately better than. Like, Corund is the ideal armor, and we actually went on a tear with a Corund a few days ago because of that. You know, it repairs really well, covers both, it covers the relevant areas, level 5. Repairs, uh, you know, checks all the boxes, if you will. Which is why I've been hoarding diaries for proper level three. Here, then I make a bunch of noise, so. And I do need DVD players. That sells fairly well.
That is neat, dude. Those are really good because they don't need a guide to go on certain uh, certain things. So we heard this most in the scab go off. The question is, is it dead? Could be on the other corner. Let's go check this way first. Could also maybe get an angle on the front there. They could have also been somebody going up in the resort, right? Is that a player? Sure was. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, fascinating colors there. So that's a that's a product of knowing this map well and knowing where all the bushes are. Because once you know where all the bushes are, you can tell if a silhouette is a player or not. That wasn't the best use of my propital. It's okay though. Yeah, probably a decent chance he had some good MVGs if he saw us. Could be bad MVGs as well. Either way, we're going to loot. Dude. It's not often that these guys fall off. But boy, is it nice when they do. Also, that guy was chilling up on this hill. There's a very good chance that there's no cultists up. I hear you. No, I just saw him at the last second in the middle. Dang it. Oh, that SVDS was so good. So I guess he had a buddy. I just saw him at the last second there, and I chose the wrong bush to fire into. GG. Still got a nice kill on that one guy, though. Nah. We got one scav kill. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Nah, they had the good, they had the good ammo there. We killed the one who didn't have the best ammo, because... They hit us in the thorax and it did nothing. <laughs> um, so, 
unfortunately, we uh, the one that was still alive was the one with the uh, the good stuff. Nah. Hmm. Bummer. All right. So, still need to get some press kills. What we could do. What I think I'm gonna do is sell these real quick. Is kill two birds, one stone here. Yeah. Uh, what other armor trades do we have here? If any. Alright, deal. Bummer we don't have those. But that's okay. Alright, so we're going to do that. This. We're going to hop in our hideout real quick. All right, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to grab this. And then we're going to do this. That's it. It'll be suppressed. We'll level up our sniper skill, which we need to do. And it's going to be wonderful. Beautiful. And we're going to hop on with this. Kind of zero to hero it, you know, Moses man to hero it. Well, I guess I need suppressed kills at some point, but that's eh, it's it's fine. it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, I think we'll be okay. Oops. Yeah, and we're just gonna kind of run through the map here. Uh, we we gotta get these survives going, you know. We really gotta get these survives going. Do we have like a yeah? We'll do this time. Less players can't put a scope on that that particular Mosin. Uh, less players on this one, but it'll still be daytime by the time we get out, and then we don't have to deal with uh, player scavs. So, good stuff. See y'all, Raid. All right, here we go. All right, it's a little dark now. It is a little dark now. I'll give it that. So. But it'll it'll brighten up here. It'll brighten up here. Let's look for a helix. We might just take this as one of our survives. You know. that it's buried in the wood that's what that is yeah we might just we might just like loot up here for seven minutes and then leave totally fair Mythgar. yeah i'm not a fan of the smell myself it, it gives me a bit of a headache but most smoke does oh i don't have much room to loot with huh that's all right. We can be very selective with what we need. Which is like keys and helixes. For right now. Yeah, well, you're, I mean, having partaking, have, having partake, you know, when you partake in it and your brain associates it with good times, like, the smell will then become better to you, right? Happens with a lot of smells that some people consider bad. What in the crap? That's rude. Missed it. We shouldn't have to get up on the bed. I mean, I shouldn't be peeking the window because I can't see a damn thing and he knows exactly where I am, but, like, why is a dude with three grenades in the town? 
It doesn't make sense, man. Uh, you know, I get there's good loot there, but like, go, go loot in the resort, dude. Why are you in the town? Learn to throw grenades. It's not sus. It's totally not sus. Not everything in this game is sus. It's annoying, but it's not sus. <laughs> nice shot. And I shouldn't have peeked the window. That's on me. I should have ran out the back. I could have. I could have easily escaped that. I think. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can suppress this uh, RD seven hundred four. I don't know if I can. Only with a DT hybrid. Hmm. I don't think I have this one, right? Not what I want. No mounts for it either, but you know what? That's okay. I think I think we're going to chill with that. I think we're going to chill with that. And let's get this kitted up right. This needs to get sold. Is this any good? Not good enough. We'll sell that. Put these away and these guys. Um, what armor are we using here? I could use this TB10. Don't really, I'd rather save that for looting. I have had it with the back end servers. It's so frustrating when you build something out and it's like, nope, nope, you didn't. Let me figure out the armor real quick and I'll build that out off the recording YouTube because that's, you've seen me do that already. You don't need to see me do that again. Do I have one of these? Sure don't. Is this ready to go again? I think these are one at a time, right? All right. We'll wear the press armor. At some point, we'll have the DVL barter, which will be good. And what else can we suppress here? This is actually pretty easy to suppress. That is already suppressed. Same with that, but eh, all good. All right, we'll do that. Uh, you know what we're going to bring in, though? We're going to bring in... This one. I do have to remember it is a weekend, to be fair. Uh, we are playing on a weekend. There are going to be a lot more players around. I'm going to put that there. We're going to go barter for another bag. Uh, uh, you. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to get the gun kitted like we did before. It just it's being a jerk. So, that's what we're going to bring in. Hopefully get, you know, get in there and not have to worry too much about stuff. Um don't use the DT. I mean, we can also just bring it in like this. Nah, that'll be fine. Uh we'll do we'll kit it out like we did before. Be ready. All right, this time we got it. I think. Why do I keep getting this spot, man? Scavs can be up here as you start. Kind of doesn't feel like it. I'm going to just check the safe and the computer and be done with it. This bag really doesn't let you move well.
Yeah, totally fair. Let's go. Totally fair. And I'm with you. I don't I don't think magic's gone bad, but I definitely am not all about it every day all day like I used to be. Cause yeah. They took Commander and ruined it. They took Now, now that the now that G not GPs, but now that the Pro Tour's back, I I have a lot more interest in the sixty card formats. But like for a while, I was like, sixty card is gross. Um, you know, it sounds cool as heck suppressed. But now that the Pro Tour's back and I have a you know reason to care about it, I like it more. And that the Pro Tour guaranteed has draft. Like, high-level draft, wa watching high-level drafting is my favorite thing. Well, that's interesting. Heard somebody. Is it behind me, maybe? Okay. Not even gonna bother. Is that a person up there? Might have been a person on the roof. Porkers and Gobu have built an idea for building MCX from parts because you can buy them now from Skier, except the gas block, which is Mechanic 3. I'm not there level 30 yet. Don't. Oh, sorry to hear that. That stinks. I sympathize you that a decade ago. The only girl's place. Yeah, yep. Uh, three big problems with magic is power creep. Yeah, agreed. Jumped. Finally jumped the shark. Uh, the shark to me. Wizard Coast Happer is money grab. Yep, agreed. Um,. I'm not with a non... Oh, interesting. Okay. See, I'm actually okay with it. I'm okay. Like, I don't love it, but I'm okay with it. I like it better than Commander Products. Commander Products, my... My my big gripe with them. I think Commander Product is... Above and beyond... Shoved down people's throats. And you could only... Like... I will be... Like, even in normal sets as well... No, that's fair. See, I don't... The power creep for 60 card formats and draft, because draft is the great equalizer, and, like, it's different, but it's still roughly the same to me. And it... it, it power creep has affected 60 card, for sure. Talk about magic, by the way, for those who didn't catch that. Um... So, but, like, Commander, when they make Commander products, it's like, oh, look at our fun multiplayer card. And it's just like, this isn't fun. This is, I have to play with this card or not. The whole point of Commander was to pull a bunch of crappy rares from your binder that you weren't using for standard and build with them. And that's, granted, how I started playing Commander. So I, I get it that that's not, like, maybe the how other people like to play. But it just doesn't do it for me, you know? I hate that. 
So, but a lot of people don't have an issue with their ex beyond universes, and like. Did I not just see something there rotating? I think I'm seeing things, chat. I could have swore I saw the barrel of a shotgun there. Okay. Awkward. Huh! Oh, nailed it. Okay. So... No, it's not that anymore. So that's so Mythgard, that's why I do the boxing leagues, right? The boxing league captures a lot of things for me that I love about that I used to love about magic, and that's and like I've actually been thinking about expanding it. Now this like it's already hard to, sometimes hard to get people on board with uh, the idea of a boxing league. But for me I would love to do like a collection league where you have like a year of like set amount of product that you're gonna buy over the year. And you play a bunch of different formats with that product. Um, and I might I might cook it up and see if somebody wants, you know, like my brother in law is like ready to go for that. I'd be down for that. But but the boxing league like fixes a lot of that stuff. It fixes the power creep because everybody has powerful cards, but it's not their entire deck. It gives that sense of collection building again, which is one of my favorite things about Magic, is like opening a pack, seeing what you get. Is it good? Cool. I'm going to use this and build around it because it's, you know, these are my cards, you know? Um, Commander, I think, is fun for a casual format, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, so yeah, like my... Sorry to do a Magic rant in the middle of a Hardcore Tarkov episode, but we're just kind of running through killing scavs here. Um, my idea would be to have, like, a set number of booster drafts throughout the year, a set number of, of, I don't know, yeah, booster drafts and, like, products that you'd open. I don't want to necessarily do full boxes, or maybe you start with a full box, but, like, have it be mixed product. But the reason for that would be, um... Is that a bush or a scab? I'm pretty sure that's a bush. I want the booster draft to be part of what you keep. So, like, you have that real decision. Do I take the thing that's good for me in the booster draft or do I take the thing that makes my 60-card deck good? Or my commander deck good or whatever, you know? Um, and, I, and that's the other thing is I want to play 60-card, 40-card, and 100-card singleton in all of this. As well. Okay, these guys are all dead. Let's get let's get our survive. Or try to get our survive. You know, like that would be the idea of idea of it all, and have like mini tournaments every month or whatever, or every every week or every time you see the person. I think that could be a lot of fun. I think that could be a lot of fun. But it'd be tough to get eight people to do that, right? Because that, that that would be the dream, right? Is you get eight people who are doing that, and that's how you have the full you have the full draft, right? Yep. Well, I mean, you can go go to you know you can booster draft normally, Mythgar, and seal deck normally. There's still skill to it. Like the better players are going to win more often, but you know it had that. Pre-releases had those sense of camaraderie, and I think they do still now at the small small local stores. I haven't been to one in a while, so I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't have a pulse on that. But I think that'd be a really fun way to play. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True. You could do cases. Yep. Yep. I just I. I don't think I would want to have everybody to start with one box. I think starting with like a, uh, uh, whatever the fat packs are called now. I don't know what they're called now. Bundles, I think they're called. Everybody started with a bundle. 
I think that that could be pretty cool. Um, and then went from there. Or yeah, or like a pre-release and a bundle or something like that. So like you go play in the pre-release, you get to keep your pre-release cards, and then you go from there. But then you could also do I just, just you can't have it snowball. So like the prizes, the prizes that you if you did like individual tournaments could wouldn't have to be there. Would have to be something different because you don't want somebody to snowball and get better cards and better deck as they go. Like you de you never want to have that snowballing effect. You always want to have people that have the ability to catch up. Um, but I don't know. You could do interesting things. There's, there's a lot of potentials and possibilities here. It's just my brain goes to making it the most complicated thing possible because I really want it to be fun for me specifically. So I'm trying to think of all these caveats and rules that make it fun for me specifically. And it's like, it's hard to get people on board with that kind of thing, you know? Because um, if you're doing it in person, what you could do is prizes for the week could be you draft um, cards for, to your pool from like a pack and then like the winner of the tournament gets first pick of the thing that they want to draft to their pool which is a little bit snowbally but not that much you know not that much because everybody will be interested in different stuff all right plus four kills there that's good and a survive plus four kills and a survive i'm gonna honestly dump myself and we're just gonna go right back in so i'll see you in there youtube all right here we go we got this we can we pause the music dude Pretzel's not happy today. I'm just gonna close it. Like I'm hitting the button and it's just like it's like nah. Maybe tomorrow. But yeah, going around or going around the middle in high school to trade cards. Yeah, I didn't do it too much in high school because my friends who played Magic went to a different school. So. But no, I think there's something going on with um, certain servers. Like these servers feel pretty clean, the actual raid servers, but the backend server on Tarkov feels weird. The pretzel server feels weird. So I wonder if there's just like it is a weekend, I guess. I was just wondering if there's like general traffic. Oh, I need uh, I need food and water. Gotta say, sometimes yeah, I've spawned here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take the mask off. Whoops. Good find. Mm, herring. Uh, I use the app, Lincoln. Huh. 
But it might have just needed like a restart. So we'll see. Or not have to deal with it until Wednesday <laughs> after today, you know. Maybe we'll just sit there in silence and stare into each other's souls. Too much? Probably too much. To be fair, I'm looking at a camera lens. You guys would be looking into my soul, so, I, you know, whatever. There we are. Guess the question is, is there two or not? That first one looked bang on. The second one definitely missed. Alright, so that's six total, I think. Here for water. No water, unfortunately. I get, oh, I think it's when I reload. That's kitted enough where I think I'm going to grab that. Now we're looking for a cowboy hat here. What do we got in you? Are these PS rounds? No way. Oh, FMJs. That's fine. Not the best spot to do that, but eh. I think by default. Broke it, chat. It's broken. I can still shoot. Probably should relog. I'll be right back. How are we doing here? What do we got? Can I? Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, that was... Yeah. That's it. Now, of course, two minutes has gone by, and I have no idea where anybody is, but, well, that's how it goes. That's fair. I'm not saying there's not skill involved, Carlos, but I'm not, like, I consider a skill game to be, like, CSGO and, 
Valorant and... I don't even really consider Call of Duty to be that, though. That's more of, like, an arcade, like, fun thing, you know? It's a little bit of a skill thing, but not by much. Um... Oh, good. Hey, 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 Tabs, congrats. Congrats on the Violet Keycard. That's awesome. Is this a bonus stream? Um, It's an extended stream. Core of eight. Then my, past my normal. And that's mostly because I wanted to get this daily done today. Or this, sorry, this weekly. Because I'm not going to have time otherwise. I can't tell if that's a body there or not. Don't break your legs, please. Ah, shoot. I think somebody killed that scav. That's great. I don't think that's the mag I want. Uh, actually, no, I think that is the mag I want. Alright. Amon's with the gift of sub. Thank you so much. A man's gifted a tier one sub to Vader Gator. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Oh, there's a scab there, though. Right? Oh, no, that's a bush. Well, that bush is dead. Get wrecked, bush. Oh, yeah, we can plant this. Thank you for the gifted sub. Really appreciate that. Oh, I can't wear that with those. There. Oh, I need... Oh, I really need hydration, huh? Okay. I really hope the car extract is here. Or, sorry, the car. I hope the uh, boat is here. I really hope the boat is here now. Don't need that. I really hope the boat's up. Nah, I'm not gonna PK. We got we got our propotol ready to go. No hydration here, right? Get that full stamina bar though. Please, oh, please be up. 
Yes. Okay, that helps a lot. Drink the fuel conditioner. Don't think that does what I needed to do. There's our hydration. <laughs> win okay that's a survive that's a survive with some scav kills we have one more survive to go oh thank goodness <laughs> nice all right bitcoin's definitely good uh, i think we're selling that we can start saving the maps that's an armor it's for mp5 barter those in there those are good these are good that's for later these are good these are actually quite good as well selling that i think um selling mostly everything about that uh might need that but maybe not okay. right, you Honestly, just going to do that real quick. Get rid of that junk. Um, don't really need dollars. And honestly, that SAS sell, or trades reasonably well. So we're just going to do that. Actually, though, that works well. And I'm just not even going to think about that one for now. That'll be good. Uh, sure. This is all PS. I think I have a little bit of... PP there. Let's do like... 15 in that... And then I'm honestly going to swap these two. And then we're just going to use the FMJs on these ones. And then this, this is our hot mag, like our hot, like the good, the good one. And then these two are the, uh, the FMJs that we can swap in between. Um, and then we're going to get some water. Just gonna drink that, I think, and not worry about it. Perfect. All right, good. Take this off. Gonna need, really gonna need those packet trades. All right, good. We need one more survive and just a couple more scab kills. I think it's like four or five here. Um, we got this. I'll see you, mate. All right. Thank you, Gator. That's a big gift. That's not a small gift. It's, it's pretty epic, in my opinion. You yeah. know? Does that actually fill up? 68 or so? Make sure I'm full out of here. We are going to have to start looting. Um... We are going to have to start looting violet cabinets again soon. We need um, the UV lamps. Not right now. We are on a mission. I do actually prefer contacts. All 
I did get what the one sneaky PSU. We have a lot of our hideout has been upgraded, and we have a ton more room. We're actually working on Punisher Part 2 right now. And surviving shoreline one more time to get hopefully um not hopefully, but you know, hopefully survive shoreline to get some ragman rep. We need to level up prepper and ragman. And we will have well, there's a sniper scab up. Let's just go for that. And we will have stash level three. We actually have everything for it except for the rep. And I guess one more level, but in completing these tasks, we should have what we need. So. So that's from that hill there, so we got to be a little careful here. He just saw somebody die, maybe? That is unreasonable, sir. Is that not at me? That might have been at somebody else then. Which I don't love. Especially with only a red dot here. Oh, you're good, Holy Tear. No worries. I mean, yeah, there there are people who will play sixty card with you, but they're gonna be they're gonna say, "Hey, you want to play modern? You want to play standard?" And it's gonna be meta decks. It's gonna you know, it's gonna be either I have to proxy this or. that guy's doing look right at me you didn't see anything
that guy, yeah. Really weird with that guy there. them that's in a different spot that's actually right in front of us oh, I kind of want that alpha rig What'd you have? P.S. I don't really need that either. Or the money. I guess the 74M was technically better, but meh. Bird shadow. Just see what we're working with here. Yeah, I think that. I think someone killed that sniper scab off of us. I would rather get my survive than finish this the Punisher part two. Oh lovely. Press is a good call, by the way. If you're trying to get headshots, it's phenomenal. But they were looted. They didn't have a dog tag on. That's the shotgun we were hearing, though. But no, we have um, we have a lot of markers to place, and like once I'm not trying to like survive for a weekly, I'll be I'll be playing a lot more aggressively. For sure. I'm just hoping that there's some scavs over here by tunnel, and on the island. It usually is. This is a very clear day. This is one of those. Could snipe people from 500 meters kind of days. I'm really surprised there's no scavs on the scav island that I'm seeing. Honestly, any uh, extract here might not be late enough in raid, maybe.
Okay, or not. Oh, that guy's laying down. No? I don't see you, dude. I think you're behind the car. Okay. Oh, and we got Punisher Part 2. Let's go. I feel like that does something nice. I can't remember what it is, though. Where are you? Someone shouted over there. Does a player scab? Why are you so filled? Maybe just lucky? Another alpha rig. I don't know what's going on with that. Scav, sh Scav shouted over there, but... I don't know. Weird. Alright, our weekly's done. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, we do need to get knives for Punisher Part Four. You're right. Well, we have we have a lot of we have Punisher Part Three. They do that RF, but yeah, you're right. We do need to start collecting the knives. Oh, thank goodness. And Punisher Part Two is done too, which is really nice. So, good stuff. All right, here we go. It's done. Nice. That's a nice chunk of level. So now we're good on Ragman. We just need to get level thirty-two. Um. We're good on Punisher Part 2. Got to save that 104. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the thing. So this is the AKS 74U. Love that. Oh, interesting. Okay. That might that might be... I don't know. It says easy job. I don't know if it's going to be an easy job. But this is going to be great rep for Prapper. So we just need to do that and get to level 32. Kind of deal. You know? Kind of deal. Why do I not have a message from you? Dude, I should have a message from you. Okay. I was going to say, I want my 350,000 rubles. Look at that. Boom. Uh, sure. For now. And we'll sell that. Okay. Just to make sure we don't miss out on anything there. And then... Prapper. Yeah. I'm fairly certain we're going to need this. Oh, I don't have anything that for found in raid, huh? All right, I'll make room for this after I sell some stuff. But yeah, we'll we'll definitely get that. I'm pretty sure the 104 is what you need for a gunsmith later. But we also got it with some fuel. Love that. Just gonna drink that now. Save some room. Yeah, I don't feel like thinking about these things. We'll have to think about them later when I'm like, why do I not have space? <laughs> but YouTube, this is what I'm gonna do. We've still got some recording time left in this episode, but I gotta call it a day streaming wise. So I'm gonna splice these together like I did the last uh, level episode 50, and um, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day there. I'll get this cleaned up in the meantime, um, and then we'll hop back on. Well, we'll probably be hopping on to customs once we find a space for all these things with an AKS 74U. Try to get those scab kills. Keep working on Punisher. Keep working on everything else. So uh, yeah, I'll see you for that load in. Cool transition. Um, there wasn't actually a cool transition there. Anyway, we're back. It's Wednesday after the Sunday when I was a little burnt out there, but we got our week we got our weekly done, which is important. But um, on my days off, I uh, crafted some AKMs. We had those two VPOs, um, broke them down into some AKMs, finagled the hideout a little bit so we could get these AKS seventy four U's out. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hop onto customs, get that going. We're probably gonna do one, maybe two raids. I just I'm really really are like I'm. We're at episode 55, and I'm already worried that we are not going to have enough time to complete what I want to complete 
um, prior to the end of the wipe, you know? And I think that's going to be a problem. So I'm swapping these two because this one's 100% durability. This one is 90. So this one will be less likely to jam. Um, and we really are working, like, we are all out working towards um, Prepper level three, Ragman level three. Those are the two most important things here, I think. It is such a ridiculous thing. I don't think we're going to see it, though. <clears throat> oh, we have the Clash on there. We don't need that. This might actually sell well, though. I just love the fact that it's called the Claw. The Claw. And it, like, hangs off the side. It's so bizarre. Anyway. So this will be good. Let's see. What do we have here? I mean, we have a million of these PP rounds. I think I would like to have one mag that's filled with BP for, like, if I could think about it, swapping to, for that for to players. Um, actually, you know what? Better yet, we'll even make it this one. And then what we'll do is we'll just do PP the rest of the way. And this will be for the scavs. And we don't, we don't care if we lose any of that. Uh, do I bring this alpha rig in? I think so. Yeah. Okay. And then we got to save our helmets for later. We do want to check our dailies. Got some new dailies here. We should be getting a new weekly soon as well. Exit woods. Let's see what the reward is. Actually, we can replace this with no rep loss. That's something we should always check first as well. I mean, we could probably just hand that in now. Let's see what the reward is. Oh. Well, okay, then. I think that'll make the gym ready for completion. I'll take that. And this is scavs on wood. So we have two woods-based tasks. That's a drill. That's, I mean, that's, that's quite a few scavs at 50-plus meters. We do need to level up our, um, our stuff here. I think I'm going to accept this and see what it is. Two morphines and two piles of meds. We don't need therapist rep, though, so I think I'm actually going to replace that. Interchange. PMCs. No. Got some Jaeger stuff going here. Any PPSH submachine gun. Any scavs. I mean, it's a lot of Jaeger rep. If I get one of those, maybe we'll try that. But honestly, this was kind of a win. The WD-40 there. Did I need that for something? Oh, no. We actually got the WD-40. Never mind. It wasn't as big of a win as I thought it was. I thought we needed the WD-40 still. I think the WD-40 was needed for the, um, the gym here. But we already did that. So, and it could have worked out. We did run out of fuel. We did run out of fuel here. I'm going to put one of those guys in. See what we can craft here. It's really not actually that much we can craft here. Oh, I guess I traded those away. We have to get a pair of that saved up. Don't really need flashbangs. We should be looting filing cabinets for these and green batteries. We do need those. We do need one more elite pliers. Ooh, one more TP brick is a couple grenades. That'll be good. There's those flashbang rounds, which, which can be interesting. Oh, hard drives can make some AP-20s. That's actually not a bad... That's not a bad craft at all, because I can craft the red gunpowder. Uh, this stuff's interesting. This is like the second best round in um, 300 Blackout. So, it's an interesting one. Still going to need those nippers, though. Okay, we need DVD players for the four to ship grip. Uh, and uh, three more of these will craft some of these guys, so we definitely need to keep an eye for those. Okay. I don't think there's really much else. I guess I could craft this thing. Save some space in our hideout, you know, ever so slightly. I don't think there's anything here I want to craft. We're saving our... Um, I did favorite some new stuff. We're saving our um, blue fuel containers for the weapon case barter with the pistol cases. 100%. Yeah, I don't think that, I guess we can keep it out for a vodka and this. This will this will complete our peacekeeper task. So vodka and um, shampoo are acceptable, I think. 
But yeah, I did just a general cleanup of the uh, stash here as well. Um, so that's pretty good. Syringes for the uh, med case barter. But, all right, is there any other tasks we need to do on customs? I don't think so, actually. I think it's literally just cost Punisher Part 3. But there's other things we're looking for, but, like, we really need to protect these AK-74Us at all cost. So, um, I don't know if there's anything left to mark. Just the marked room, but we're not going to be going into there. Okay, I think we're good. And our goal is to, to sneak around the map and do this quietly. Actually, do I have... I swore I had one of those. It might be on a stock. This gun kicks like a mule, so. There it is. Yeah, these things are, like, when you unlock these in regular play, these are so good. Plus two ergo, minus five recoil is really good. And it goes on most AK stocks, and it really, really enhances everything. Like, even if you're just doing, like, a stock AKS for this and, like, not getting all these fancy parts, grab one of these if you haven't unlocked. It's It costs, like... I don't know, 2,000 rubles or something like that. It's really good. Really, really good. So, all right, good stuff. Let's see what time of day we got here. Perfect. I will see you all on raid. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is actually not a terrible spawn for this. Also, forgive me, I have, have not played... No, oh, I haven't played Darkov in a bit. I do have... Now, this is, this is the time of this recording, so... You never know where that's going to be at later on, or where this is going to be at later on. But I do have, um, plans for the Hatchet Man challenge. And I got a, I got a thumbnail all made up and stuff. The, the very, very possible, actually almost guaranteed that that episode's already happened. But if you like the hardcore series and you want to watch the Hatchet Man series, which I think at this time will be just basically a standard account run. Um, with, like, no insurance. Maybe no scab runs. Yeah, probably no scab runs. Just to save time. Um, and... Uh, no flea market. Or maybe, like, no buying on the flea market, you know? I actually kind of like that rule. I, I don't mind selling on the flea market so much. Um, and those being the rules for just a standard account playthrough. That we just start with a hatchet, you know? That's it. Simple, very simple rules. Basically a standard account run. Let's start with just an antique axe. Carlos, good morning. Thank you for that. That happened the same time that this scab was shooting. Which is why it got me. I really need scabs to spawn in here, though. My goodness. Alright, I should, like, sit up and pay attention. I feel like I'm not paying attention. Okay, we need syringes. Add the sound effect of a scav sounding that grenade has been thrown. If you can find that sound effect, I will make it into a tip. It will make it worse. And it will not be $3.69. What a, what a bargain for you guys. That's not, that's not that uh, odd, Carlos. I get, on, I get onto the London server all the time. Oops. Tactical jump. Hopefully looting here will spawn some of these scavs in. That would be, that would be good. Oh, 
nippers are good. Um, <clears throat> I imagine the flea market has all these hardcore, hardcore dudes sitting on knitted blankets, sipping tea, haggling over prices like cute old ladies. Thanks to the per thanks to the person who called it a flea market instead of a black market. <laughs> that is quite the image you have just conjured, and I really like it. I really, really like it. <laughs> That's good. Okay. All right, let's go see if anything spawned in behind us. Hopefully, yes. Now, I'd much rather kill scavs near my extract, so... If we don't see scabs here soon, we'll probably start heading through the map. And that's okay. Totally fine. I don't even see it like sniper scabs or anything. They know. They always know. No, Hunter Pig's not terrible. It really doesn't feel that different. Like, whenever I get onto a London server, it really doesn't feel so different for me. For sure. That's fair. Yeah, the more people you play with, the worse it is. If you're solo, it's not so bad. Very true, Nako. Yeah, same. I usually get a lot less, I, you know, as well. There's three US servers, so any one of them is easy ping for me. Even though I'm East Coast. Oh, like five ping. I just figure with the large amounts of ping, it's like harder to keep track of your teammates. I'm so happy that guy missed. Another one. Not sure if they spawn behind me or not. Where was that from? over by the um, ZB extract. I heard a step over here, though. Fairly certain I did, anyway. Sounded like a sneaking step. Yeah, I want nothing to do with the grenades. I want to get my scav kills and get the heck out. Mag. Probably saved somebody's life there.
Does seem like all the scabs got aggroed somewhere, though. Let's get topped up here. <clears throat> First shot. <laughs> First shot. Hey, Oscar, how are you? Remember, PP's not actually even that bad. It's just... Without getting headshots. And this gun's a little hard to get headshots with. That could be a little rough. Okay, nobody's turned on power. Just gonna try to get to RUAF, I think. Pretty good right now. What are we doing? We are get, trying to get AK-74U scav kills on customs for Punisher Part 3. With the overarching or arcing goal being, um, I need... Trapper level 3 and Ragman at level 3 so we can get Stash 3 installing. That's the... Goal at hand here. There's a key for that. Or I wonder if there will be a key for this. I forgot to check that right corner. That could have been bad. Okay, scav up to the right. We could probably go loot library. Usually people kind of start skipping it this late in the wipe, but... It's a good place for... Uh, player scavs to be. I did not see that guy. Good job, camouflage. You did your job. So if I'm playing this like on a normal standard account, you'll see. I will stay in I will stay in the raid as long as possible. I look behind him real quick, which is a little disconcerting. Definitely gonna need that. Not really sure why I'm taking so long to do this. That's really bad of me. Um, but yeah, we. Uh, I'm just gonna loot these scavs and leave now. What a fascinating weapon. I definitely want these. Oh, we're going to start saving up round handle knives as well. For one of the Punishers. I don't remember which one. It might be even be the next one. Oh yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna reset here. the The gun is the valuable thing here, not the actual kills. So this hot rods will actually be good for um. Beautiful, nice little eagle, nice. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, the gun's the important thing to save there, not the, not the kills. But like I've done, I've done Punisher Part Three in one raid before. It's actually really fun if you can get it done in one raid. Um, but that's five. You know, we're a fifth of the way there. Very nice. 
All right, pretty rock solid first rate. This is actually pretty good because we actually have the mount for that as well, which is nice. Um, all right, save that for later. Let's make a pile of to be sold. Do you trade for anything? I'm going to need that eventually. So we'll save one of those. Everything else is gone. That's getting sold. This is getting sold. going to keep that. What I'm going to do for these guys is we're going to do this, then this. This will save us a bunch of room. These are going to be our PvP guns for maybe the office. Um, we also need to save one, I guess, for this gunsmith that we're on. Huh. I don't think I can hand that one in. What do you do then? Huh. So three Keck tape is is this Glock? That's kind of cool. It's a little convoluted, but that's kind of cool. All right, we don't have the mount for that, so we're going to sell that. It's just good for any M4 that we get. Once again, I'm making my ammo cases gross. Okay, saving all the half masks for the pack of trade. Okay, we're gonna hit that with a repair. Um, I would like to save this. Goes well on the shotguns. I would like to save that. Maybe not the ammo. Oh, that had seven mil in it. Oh, right, because this guy, we, yep, 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 yep. Those away if they'll fit. Uh, yep. What did you trade? You traded for something. Part of that. Do I have enough there? I do not. Save it for that trade. I'm kind of interested in this. I don't know if it's easy. To put a, um mount on there I th i'm assuming it's all the same mounts but because we need to get some bolt action stuff going here soonish i don't know if we need this or not i don't think so i don't think there's anything for ragman here nope anything for you i think it's all mechanic junk nope, not that okay only 60k there. That's that's fine, though. Could barter for another ammo case. We're actually pretty good right now. Uh, this could be turned into weapons parts. Also, that's just a large amount of EKO. Um, these, these are good, but uh, I think we're going to save our room here. Sure, we can put that on there. Um... Yeah, EKO is really good for the VPOs that we have. Or good enough for the VPOs that we have. I'll just save these in here. Will that fit in there? Good. Good. Yeah, I'm going to try to save that for weapons parts. we got to start saving these knives. We need, I think, four of them. I'm not 100% on that, though. Okay, this does hold up more than it takes or like holds more than it takes up so we'll do that we just start saving tritons i saw there's a there's a triton craft that's actually pretty good um crafts the mppv rigs with just a little bit of keck tape so that's actually really powerful um because those those hold a lot of stuff for us okay the rest of this is just to be organizing youtube i think that's gonna do it for this episode I, I don't want to go too too far over here I did want to make it a little bit longer because, like I said, I am worried that not all of this series is going to be able to get out by the time this wipe is done. Um, but maybe it will. Maybe because I'm being aggressive on these episodes and making them super long that we will be able to get them out. But next episode, we're going to run it back. I'm actually going to keep even wearing those. Um, we're going to run it back. Oh, I didn't even do this. <laughs> How very silly of me. We'll put the propotol in there. Perfect. Like I said, we've got a million PP rounds here. Um... And we'll do uh, kind of much of the same. We'll just try to get those um, those scav kills. Keep an eye out for the knives. Um, keep an eye out for relevant stuff. But well, there's really not too, too much we're looking for. One set of elites. Um, good loot in general. I mean, we're, at, as it stands, we have a million rubles left over after we even install Stash 2. So, but um, yeah. 
good stuff. Uh, thanks for subbing. Thanks for tuning into the uh, channel. Thanks for watching all these all the way through. Big shout out to all those in the Patreon. We have a really nice Patreon growing there. We're almost at 10 members, which is really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, thanks for sharing your prime in the Twitch chat. But seriously, thanks for just watching. That's the best way to support the content is just by watching. And uh, we'll catch you next episode.